Chlorine is a chemical element with symbol Cl and atomic number 17. The second lightest of the halogens, it appears between fluorine and bromine in the periodic table and its properties are mostly intermediate between them. Chlorine is a yellow-green gas at room temperature. It is an extremely reactive element and a strong oxidizing agent. Among the elements, it has the highest electron affinity and the third highest electronegativity, behind only oxygen and fluorine. The most common compound of chlorine, sodium chloride, common salt, has been known since ancient times. Around 1630, chlorine gas was first synthesized in a chemical reaction, but not recognized as a fundamentally important substance. Carl Wilhelm Scheele wrote a description of chlorine gas in 1774, supposing it to be an oxide of a new element. In 1809, chemists suggested that the gas might be a pure element, and this was confirmed by Sir Humphrey Davy in 1810, who named it from ancient Greek, chloros translate. Chloros, lit. Pale green based on its color. Because of its great reactivity, all chlorine in the Earth's crust is in the form of ionic chloride compounds, which includes table salt. It is the second most abundant halogen after fluorine and 21st most abundant chemical element in Earth's crust. These crustal deposits are nevertheless dwarfed by the huge reserves of chloride in seawater. Elemental chlorine is commercially produced from brine by electrolysis. The high oxidizing potential of elemental chlorine led to the development of commercial bleaches and disinfectants, and a reagent for many processes in the chemical industry. Chlorine is used in the manufacture of a wide range of consumer products, about two-thirds of them organic chemicals such as polyvinyl chloride, and many intermediates for the production of plastics and other end products which do not contain the element. As a common disinfectant, elemental chlorine and chlorine generating compounds are used more directly in swimming pools to keep them clean and sanitary. Elemental chlorine at high concentrations is extremely dangerous and poisonous for all living organisms, and was used in World War I as the first gaseous chemical warfare agent. In the form of chloride ions, chlorine is necessary to all known species of life. Other types of chlorine compounds are rare in living organisms, and artificially produced chlorinated organics range from inert to toxic. In the upper atmosphere, chlorine-containing organic molecules such as chlorofluorocarbons have been implicated in ozone depletion. Small quantities of elemental chlorine are generated by oxidation of chloride to hypochlorite in neutrophils as part of the immune response against bacteria. History The most common compound of chlorine, sodium chloride, has been known since ancient times. Archaeologists have found evidence that rock salt was used as early as 3000 BC and brine as early as 6000 BC. Its importance in food was very well known in classical antiquity and was sometimes used as payment for services for Roman generals and military tribunes. Elemental chlorine was probably first isolated around 1200 with the discovery of aqua regia and its ability to dissolve gold. Since chlorine gas is one of the products of this reaction, it was however not recognized as a new substance. Around 1630, chlorine was recognized as a gas by the Flemish chemist and physician Jan Baptist van Helmont. The element was first studied in detail in 1774 by Swedish chemist Carl Wilhelm Scheele, and he is credited with the discovery. Scheele produced chlorine by reacting manganese 4 oxide as the mineral pyrolocyte with HCl. 4 HCl plus manganese 4 oxide manganese 2 chloride plus 2 H2O plus Cl2 Scheele observed several of the properties of chlorine, the bleaching effect on litmus, the deadly effect on insects, the yellow-green color, and the smell similar to aqua regia. He called it deflagisticated muriatic acid air since it is a gas then called airs and it came from hydrochloric acid then known as muriatic acid he failed to establish chlorine as an element common chemical theory at that time held that an acid is a compound that contains oxygen remnants of this survive in the german and dutch names of oxygen sauerstoff or zuurstof both translating into english as acid substance so a number of chemists including claude berthollet suggested that Scheele's deflagisticated muriatic acid air must be a combination of oxygen and the yet undiscovered element muriaticum in 1809 joseph louis gay lussac and louis jacques tainard tried to 
decompose dephlogisticated muriatic acid air by reacting it with charcoal to release the free element muriaticum and carbon dioxide. They did not succeed and published a report in which they considered the possibility that dephlogisticated muriatic acid air as an element, but were not convinced. In 1810, Sir Humphrey Davy tried the same experiment again, and concluded that the substance was an element, and not a compound. He announced his results to the Royal Society on 15 November that year. At that time, he named this new element, chlorine, from the Greek word chloros, chloros, meaning green yellow. The name, halogen, meaning salt producer, was originally used for chlorine in 1811 by Johann Salomo Christoph Schweiger. This term was later used as a generic term to describe all the elements in the chlorine family fluorine, bromine, iodine, after a suggestion by Johns Jakob Berzelius in 1826. In 1823, Michael Faraday liquefied chlorine for the first time, and demonstrated that what was then known as solid chlorine had a structure of chlorine hydrate Cl2H2O. Chlorine gas was first used by French chemist Claude Berthollet to bleach textiles in 1785. Modern bleaches resulted from further work by Berthollet, who first produced sodium hypochlorite in 1789 in his laboratory in the town of Javel now part of Paris, France, by passing chlorine gas through a solution of sodium carbonate. The resulting liquid, known as eau de Javel, Javel water, was a weak solution of sodium hypochlorite. This process was not very efficient, and alternative production methods were sought. Scottish chemist and industrialist Charles Tennant first produced a solution of calcium hypochlorite, chlorinated lime, then solid calcium hypochlorite bleaching powder. These compounds produced low levels of elemental chlorine and could be more efficiently transported than sodium hypochlorite, which remained as dilute solutions because when purified to eliminate water, it became a dangerously powerful and unstable oxidizer. Near the end of the 19th century, E. S. Smith patented a method of sodium hypochlorite production involving electrolysis of brine to produce sodium hydroxide and chlorine gas, which then mixed to form sodium hypochlorite. This is known as the chloralkali process, first introduced on an industrial scale in 1892, and now the source of most elemental chlorine and sodium hydroxide. In 1884 Chemischen Fabrik Griesheim of Germany developed another chloralkali process which entered commercial production in 1888. Elemental chlorine solutions dissolved in chemically basic water sodium and calcium hypochlorite were first used as anti-putrefaction agents and disinfectants in the 1820s, in France, long before the establishment of the germ theory of disease. This practice was pioneered by Antoine Germain Le Baroque, who adapted Berthollet's Javel water, bleach, and other chlorine preparations. For a more complete history, see below. Elemental chlorine has since served a continuous function in topical antisepsis, wound irrigation solutions, and the like, and public sanitation, particularly in swimming and drinking water. Chlorine gas was first used as a weapon on April 22, 1915, at Ypres by the German army. The effect on the Allies was devastating because the existing gas masks were difficult to deploy and had not been broadly distributed. Properties Chlorine is the second halogen, being a nonmetal in group 17 of the periodic table. Its properties are thus similar to fluorine, bromine, and iodine, and are largely intermediate between those of the first two. Chlorine has the electron configuration Ne 3's 23p5, with the seven electrons in the third and outermost shell acting as its valence electrons. Like all halogens, it is thus one electron short of a full octet, and is hence a strong oxidizing agent, reacting with many elements in order to complete its outer shell. Corresponding to periodic trends, it is intermediate in electronegativity between fluorine and bromine F 3.98, Cl, 3.16, Bridge, 2.96, I, 2.66, and is less reactive than fluorine and more reactive than bromine. It is also a weaker oxidizing agent than fluorine, but a stronger one than bromine. Conversely, the chloride ion is a weaker reducing agent than bromide, but a stronger one than fluoride. 
It is intermediate in atomic radius between fluorine and bromine, and this leads to many of its atomic properties similarly continuing the trend from iodine to bromine upward, such as first ionization energy, electron affinity, enthalpy of dissociation of the X2 molecule X equals Cl, bridge, I, ionic radius, and XX bond length. Fluorine is anomalous due to its small size. All four stable halogens experience intermolecular van der Waals forces of attraction, and their strength increases together with the number of electrons among all homonuclear diatomic halogen molecules. Thus, the melting and boiling points of chlorine are intermediate between those of fluorine and bromine. Chlorine melts at 101.0 degrees Celsius and boils at 34.0 degrees Celsius. As a result of the increasing molecular weight of the halogens down the group, the density and heats of fusion and vaporization of chlorine are again intermediate between those of bromine and fluorine, although all their heats of vaporization are fairly low leading to high volatility thanks to their diatomic molecular structure. The halogens darken in color as the group is descended, thus, while fluorine is a pale yellow gas, chlorine is distinctly yellow-green. This trend occurs because the wavelengths of visible light absorbed by the halogens increase down the group. Specifically, the color of a halogen, such as chlorine, results from the electron transition between the highest occupied antibonding pi g molecular orbital and the lowest vacant antibonding sigma u molecular orbital. The color fades at low temperatures, so that solid chlorine at minus 195 degrees Celsius is almost colorless. Like solid bromine and iodine, solid chlorine crystallizes in the orthorhombic crystal system, in a layered lattice of Cl2 molecules. The CLCL distance is 198 pm close to the gaseous CLCL distance of 199 pm and the CLCL distance between molecules is 332 pm within a layer and 382 pm between layers compare the van der Waals radius of chlorine, 180 pm. This structure means that chlorine is a very poor conductor of electricity, and indeed its conductivity is so low as to be practically unmeasurable. Isotopes Chlorine has two stable isotopes, 35Cl and 37Cl. These are its only two natural isotopes occurring in quantity, with 35Cl making up 76% of natural chlorine and 37Cl making up the remaining 24%. Both are synthesized in stars in the oxygen burning and silicon burning processes. Both have nuclear spin 3 halves plus and thus may be used for nuclear magnetic resonance, although the spin magnitude being greater than one half results in non-spherical nuclear charge distribution and thus resonance broadening as a result of a non-zero nuclear quadrupole moment and resultant quadrupolar relaxation. The other chlorine isotopes are all radioactive, with half-lives too short to occur in nature primordially. Of these, the most commonly used in the laboratory are 36 Cl T1 half. 3.0 times 105y and 38cl t1/2 37.2 minutes which may be produced from the neutron activation of natural chlorine the most stable chlorine radioisotope is 36cl the primary decay mode of isotopes lighter than 35 Cl is electron capture to isotopes of sulfur, that of isotopes heavier than 37 Cl is beta decay to isotopes of argon, and 36 Cl may decay by either mode to stable 36 S or 36 R. 36 Cl occurs in trace quantities in nature as a cosmogenic nuclide in a ratio of about 7 to 10 times 10 minus 13 to 1 with stable chlorine isotopes. It is produced in the atmosphere by spallation of 36 R by interactions with cosmic ray protons. In the top meter of the lithosphere, 36 Cl is generated primarily by thermal neutron activation of 35 Cl and spallation of 39 K and 40 Ca. In the subsurface environment, muon capture by 40 Ca becomes more important as a way to generate 36 Cl. Chemistry and compounds Chlorine is intermediate in reactivity between fluorine and bromine, and is one of the most reactive elements. Chlorine is a weaker oxidizing agent than fluorine but a stronger one than bromine or iodine. This can be seen from the standard electrode potentials of the X2, X- couples F, plus 2.866 volts, Cl, plus 1.395 volts, bridge, plus 1.087 volts, I, plus 0.615 volts, at, approximately plus 0.3 volts. 
However, this trend is not shown in the bond energies because fluorine is singular due to its small size, low polarizability, and lack of low-lying d orbitals available for bonding, which chlorine has. As another difference, chlorine has a significant chemistry in positive oxidation states while fluorine does not. Chlorination often leads to higher oxidation states than bromination or iodination but lower oxidation states to fluorination. Chlorine tends to react with compounds including MM, MH, or MC bonds to form MCL bonds. Given that E degree 1 half O2, H2O equals plus 1.229 volts, which is less than plus 1.395 volts, it would be expected that chlorine should be able to oxidize water to oxygen and hydrochloric acid. However, the kinetics of this reaction are unfavorable, and there is also a bubble over potential effect to consider, so that electrolysis of aqueous chloride solutions evolves chlorine gas and not oxygen gas, a fact that is very useful for the industrial production of chlorine. Hydrogen chloride The simplest chlorine compound is hydrogen chloride, HCl, a major chemical in industry as well as in the laboratory, both as a gas and dissolved in water as hydrochloric acid. It is often produced by burning hydrogen gas in chlorine gas, or as a byproduct of chlorinating hydrocarbons. Another approach is to treat sodium chloride with concentrated sulfuric acid to produce hydrochloric acid, also known as the salt cake process. Sodium chloride plus H2SO4 150 degrees Celsius sodium hydrogen sulfate plus HCl Sodium chloride plus sodium hydrogen sulfate 540 to 600 degrees Celsius sodium sulfate plus H clean the laboratory hydrogen chloride gas may be made by drying the acid with concentrated sulfuric acid Deuterium chloride, DCL, may be produced by reacting benzoyl chloride with heavy water D2O. at room temperature. Hydrogen chloride is a colorless gas, like all the hydrogen halides apart from hydrogen fluoride, since hydrogen cannot form strong hydrogen bonds to the larger electronegative chlorine atom. However, weak hydrogen bonding is present in solid crystalline hydrogen chloride at low temperatures, similar to the hydrogen fluoride structure, before disorder begins to prevail as the temperature is raised. Hydrochloric acid is a strong acid pKa -7 because the hydrogen bonds to chlorine are too weak to inhibit dissociation. The HCl H2O system has many hydrates HCl and H2O for N. 1 2 3 4 and 6 Beyond a 1 to 1 mixture of HCl and H2O, the system separates completely into two separate liquid phases. Hydrochloric acid forms an azeotrope with boiling point 108.58 degrees Celsius at 20.22 g HCl per 100 g solution, thus hydrochloric acid cannot be concentrated beyond this point by distillation. Unlike hydrogen fluoride, anhydrous liquid hydrogen chloride is difficult to work with as a solvent, because its boiling point is low, it has a small liquid range, its dielectric constant is low and it does not dissociate appreciably into hydrogen chloride plus an H HCl-2 ions, the latter, in any case, are much less stable than the bifluoride ions HF-2 due to the very weak hydrogen bonding between hydrogen and chlorine, though its salts with very large and weakly polarizing cations such as Cs plus and Nr plus 4, R equals me, et, bun may still be isolated. Anhydrous hydrogen chloride is a poor solvent, only able to dissolve small molecular compounds such as nitrosyl chloride and phenol, or salts with very low lattice energies such as tetraalkylammonium halides. It readily protonates electrophiles containing lone pairs or pi bonds. Solvolysis, ligand replacement reactions, and oxidations are well characterized in hydrogen chloride solution. PH3 tin 1 chloride plus HCl PH2 tin 2 chloride plus PHH solvolysis PH3 COH plus 3 HCl PH3 C plus HCl minus 2 plus H3O plus Cl minus solvolysis Me 4 N plus HCl minus 2 plus BCl 3 Me 4 N plus BCl minus 4 plus HCl ligand replacement Phosphorus trichloride plus Cl2 plus HCl PCl plus 4 HCl minus 2 oxidation. Other binary chlorides. 
Nearly all elements in the periodic table form binary chlorides. The exceptions are decidedly in the minority and stem in each case from one of three causes, extreme inertness and reluctance to participate in chemical reactions the noble gases, with the exception of xenon in the highly unstable xenon D-chloride and xenon tetrachloride, extreme nuclear instability hampering chemical investigation before decay and transmutation many of the heaviest elements beyond bismuth, and having an electronegativity higher than chlorines oxygen and fluorine so that the resultant binary compounds are formally not chloride but rather oxides or fluorides of chlorine. Chlorination of metals with Cl2 usually leads to a higher oxidation state than bromination with bridge 2 when multiple oxidation states are available, such as in MOCl5 and MOBr3. Chlorides can be made by reaction of an element or its oxide, hydroxide, or carbonate with hydrochloric acid, and then dehydrated by mildly high temperatures combined with either low pressure or anhydrous hydrogen chloride gas. These methods work best when the chloride product is stable to hydrolysis, otherwise, the possibilities include high temperature oxidative chlorination of the element with chlorine or hydrogen chloride, high temperature chlorination of a metal oxide or other halide by chlorine, a volatile metal chloride, carbon tetrachloride, or an organic chloride. For instance, zirconium dioxide reacts with chlorine at standard conditions to produce zirconium tetrachloride, and uranium trioxide reacts with hexachloropropene when heated under reflux to give uranium tetrachloride. The second example also involves a reduction in oxidation state, which can also be achieved by reducing a higher chloride using hydrogen or a metal as a reducing agent. This may also be achieved by thermal decomposition or disproportionation as follows. EUCL3 plus 1 half H2 EUCL2 plus HCl RECL5 at BP RECL3 plus Cl2 Gold 3 chloride 160 degrees Celsius Gold 1 chloride plus Cl2 Most of the chlorides of the pre-transition metals groups 1, 2, and 3, along with the lanthanides and actinides in the plus 2 and plus 3 oxidation states are mostly ionic, while nonmetals tend to form covalent molecular chlorides, as do metals in high oxidation states from plus 3 and above. Silver chloride is very insoluble in water and is thus often used as a qualitative test for chlorine polychlorine compounds. Although dichlorine is a strong oxidizing agent with a high first ionization energy, it may be oxidized under extreme conditions to form the Cl plus 2 cation. This is very unstable and has only been characterized by its electronic band spectrum when produced in a low pressure discharge tube. The yellow Cl plus 3 cation is more stable and may be produced as follows. Cl2 plus ClF plus ASF5 minus 78 degrees Celsius Cl plus 3 ASF minus 6 This reaction is conducted in the oxidizing solvent arsenic pentafluoride. The trichloride anion, Cl minus 3, has also been characterized, it is analogous to triiodide. Chlorine fluorides The three fluorides of chlorine form a subset of the interhalogen compounds, all of which are diamagnetic. Some cationic and anionic derivatives are known, such as ClF-2, ClF-4, ClF-2, and D-chlorine monofluoride+. Some pseudohalides of chlorine are also known, such as cyanogen chloride CLCN, linear, chlorine cyanate CLNCO, chlorine thiocyanate CLSCN, unlike its oxygen counterpart, and chlorine azide chlorine trinitride, chlorine monofluoride CLF is extremely thermally stable, and is sold commercially in 500 gram steel lecture bottles. It is a colorless gas that melts at minus 155.6 degrees Celsius and boils at minus 100.1 degrees Celsius. It may be produced by the direction of its elements at 225 degrees Celsius, though it must then be separated and purified from chlorine trifluoride and its reactants. Its properties are mostly intermediate between those of chlorine and fluorine. It will react with many metals and nonmetals from room temperature and above, fluorinating them and liberating chlorine. It will also act as a chlorofluorinating agent, adding chlorine and fluorine across a multiple bond or by oxidation, for example, it will attack carbon monoxide to form carbonyl chlorofluoride, COFCl. 
It will react analogously with hexafluoroacetone, CF3, 2CO, with a potassium fluoride catalyst to produce heptafluoroisopropyl hypochlorite, CF3, 2CFOCl, with nitriles RCN to produce RCF2 nitrogen D chloride, and with the sulfur oxides SO2 and SO3 to produce CLOSO2F and ClSO2F respectively. It will also react exothermically and violently with compounds containing O and NH groups, such as water. H2O plus 2ClF2HF plus Cl2O chlorine trifluoride, chlorine trifluoride is a volatile colorless molecular liquid which melts at 76.3 degrees Celsius and boils at 11.8 degrees Celsius. It may be formed by directly fluorinating gaseous chlorine or chlorine monofluoride at 200 to 300 degrees Celsius. It is one of the most reactive known chemical compounds, reacting with many substances which in ordinary circumstances would be considered chemically inert, such as asbestos, concrete, and sand. It explodes on contact with water and most organic substances. The list of elements it sets on fire is diverse, containing hydrogen, potassium, phosphorus, arsenic, antimony, sulfur, selenium, tellurium, bromine, iodine, and powdered molybdenum, tungsten, rhodium, iridium, and iron. An impermeable fluoride layer is formed by sodium, magnesium, aluminium, zinc, tin, and silver, which may be removed by heating. When heated, even such noble metals as palladium, platinum, and gold are attacked and even the noble gases xenon and radon do not escape fluorination. Nickel containers are usually used due to that metal's great resistance to attack by chlorine trifluoride, stemming from the formation of an unreactive nickel fluoride layer. Its reaction with hydrazine to form hydrogen fluoride, nitrogen, and chlorine gases was used in experimental rocket motors, but has problems largely stemming from its extreme hypergolicity resulting in ignition without any measurable delay. For these reasons, it was used in bomb attacks during the Second World War by the Nazis. Today, it is mostly used in nuclear fuel processing, to oxidize uranium to uranium hexafluoride for its enriching and to separate it from plutonium. It can act as a fluoride ion donor or acceptor Lewis base or acid, although it does not dissociate appreciably into ClF plus 2 and ClF minus 4 ions. Chlorine pentafluoride, chlorine pentafluoride is made on a large scale by direct fluorination of chlorine with excess fluorine gas at 350 degrees Celsius and 250 atmospheres, and on a small scale by reacting metal chlorides with fluorine gas at 100 to 300 degrees Celsius. It melts at minus 103 degrees Celsius and boils at minus 13.1 degrees Celsius. It is a very strong fluorinating agent, although it is still not as effective as chlorine trifluoride. Only a few specific stoichiometric reactions have been characterized. Arsenic pentafluoride and antimony pentafluoride form ionic adducts of the form chlorine tetrafluoride plus MF6 minus M equals as SB and water reacts vigorously as follows. 2H2O plus chlorine pentafluoride 4HF plus fluorine D hypochlorite The product, chloral fluoride, is one of the five known chlorine oxide fluorides. These range from the thermally unstable FClO to the chemically unreactive perchloral fluoride fluorine trihypochlorite, the other three being fluorine D hypochlorite, trifluorine monohypochlorite, and trifluorine D hypochlorite. All five behave similarly to the chlorine fluorides, both structurally and chemically, and may act as Lewis acids or bases by gaining or losing fluoride ions respectively or as very strong oxidizing and fluorinating agents. Chlorine oxides The chlorine oxides are well studied in spite of their instability all of them are endothermic compounds. They are important because they are produced when chlorofluorocarbons undergo photolysis in the upper atmosphere and cause the destruction of the ozone layer. None of them can be made from directly reacting the elements. Dichlorine monoxide, dichlorine monoxide is a brownish yellow gas, red brown when solid or liquid, which may be obtained by reacting chlorine gas with yellow mercury oxide. It is very soluble in water, in which it is in equilibrium with hypochlorous acid, HOCl, which it is the anhydride of. It is thus an effective bleach and is mostly used to make hypochlorites. It explodes on heating or sparking or in the presence of ammonia gas. Chlorine dioxide, chlorine dioxide was the first chlorine oxide to be discovered in 1811 by Humphrey Davy. 
It is a yellow paramagnetic gas deep red as a solid or liquid, as expected from its having an odd number of electrons, it is stable towards dimerization due to the delocalization of the unpaired electron. It explodes above minus 40 degrees Celsius as a liquid and under pressure as a gas and therefore must be made at low concentrations for wood pulp bleaching and water treatment. It is usually prepared by reducing a chlorate as follows. ClO-3 plus Cl- plus 2H plus chlorine dioxide plus 1 half Cl2 plus H2O IT's production is thus intimately linked to the redox reactions of the chlorine oxoacids. It is a strong oxidizing agent, reacting with sulfur, phosphorus, phosphorus halides, and potassium borohydride. It dissolves exothermically in water to form dark green solutions that very slowly decompose in the dark. Crystalline clathrate hydrates chlorine dioxide NH2O N approximately equals 6 to 10 separate out at low temperatures. However, in the presence of light, these solutions rapidly photodecompose to form a mixture of chloric and hydrochloric acids. Photolysis of individual chlorine dioxide molecules result in the radicals ClO and ClU, while at room temperature mostly chlorine, oxygen, and some chlorine trioxide and D-chlorine hexoxide are produced. D-chlorine trioxide is also produced when photolysing the solid at 78 degrees Celsius, it is a dark brown solid that explodes below 0 degrees Celsius. The ClO radical leads to the depletion of atmospheric ozone and is thus environmentally important as follows Cl plus O3 ClO plus O2 ClO plus O Cl plus O2 chlorine perchlorate is a pale yellow liquid that is less stable than chlorine dioxide and decomposes at room temperature to form chlorine, oxygen, and dichlorine hexoxide, D -chlorine hexoxide. Chlorine perchlorate may also be considered a chlorine derivative of perchloric acid Hoclo3, similar to the thermally unstable chlorine derivatives of other oxoacids. Examples include chlorine nitrate Clono2, vigorously reactive and explosive, and chlorine fluorosulfate Clozo 2F, more stable but still moisture sensitive and highly reactive. Dichlorine hexoxide is a dark red liquid that freezes to form a solid which turns yellow at minus 180 degrees Celsius. It is usually made by reaction of chlorine dioxide with oxygen. Despite attempts to rationalize it as the dimer of chlorine trioxide, it reacts more as though it were chloral perchlorate, chlorine dioxide plus chlorine tetroxide minus, which has been confirmed to be the correct structure of the solid. It hydrolyzes in water to give a mixture of chloric and perchloric acids. The analogous reaction with anhydrous hydrogen fluoride does not proceed to completion. Dichlorine heptoxide, D -chlorine heptoxide is the anhydride of perchloric acid hydrogen hypochlorite and can readily be obtained from it by dehydrating it with phosphoric acid at minus 10 degrees Celsius and then distilling the product at minus 35 degrees Celsius and 1 mm of mercury. It is a shock sensitive, colorless oily liquid. It is the least reactive of the chlorine oxides, being the only one to not set organic materials on fire at room temperature. It may be dissolved in water to regenerate perchloric acid or in aqueous alkalis to regenerate perchlorates. However, it thermally decomposes explosively by breaking one of the central ClO bonds, producing the radicals chlorine trioxide and chlorine tetroxide which immediately decompose to the elements through intermediate oxides. Chlorine oxoacids and oxyanions Chlorine forms four oxoacids, hypochlorous acid chlorous acid chloric acid and perchloric acid As can be seen from the redox potentials given in the adjacent table, chlorine is much more stable towards disproportionation in acidic solutions than in alkaline solutions. The hypochlorite ions also disproportionate further to produce chloride and chlorate 3 ClO-2 Cl- plus ClO-3 but this reaction is quite slow at temperatures below 70 degrees Celsius in spite of the very favorable equilibrium constant of 1027. The chlorate ions may themselves disproportionate to form chloride and perchlorate 4 ClO-3 Cl- plus 3 ClO-4 but this is still very slow even at 100 degrees Celsius despite the very favorable equilibrium constant of 1020. The rates of reaction for the chlorine oxyanions increases as the oxidation state of chlorine decreases. 
The strengths of the chlorine oxyacids increase very quickly as the oxidation state of chlorine increases due to the increasing delocalization of charge over more and more oxygen atoms in their conjugate bases. Most of the chlorine oxoacids may be produced by exploiting these disproportionation reactions. Hypochlorous acid HOCl is highly reactive and quite unstable, its salts are mostly used for their bleaching and sterilizing abilities. They are very strong oxidizing agents, transferring an oxygen atom to most inorganic species. Chlorous acid is even more unstable and cannot be isolated or concentrated without decomposition, it is known from the decomposition of aqueous chlorine dioxide. However, sodium chloride is a stable salt and is useful for bleaching and stripping textiles, as an oxidizing agent, and as a source of chlorine dioxide. Chloric acid is a strong acid that is quite stable in cold water up to 30% concentration, but on warming gives chlorine and chlorine dioxide. Evaporation under reduced pressure allows it to be concentrated further to about 40%, but then it decomposes to perchloric acid, chlorine, oxygen, water, and chlorine dioxide. Its most important salt is sodium chlorate, mostly used to make chlorine dioxide to bleach paper pulp. The decomposition of chlorate to chloride and oxygen is a common way to produce oxygen in the laboratory on a small scale. Chloride and chlorate may comproportionate to form chlorine as follows ClO-3 plus 5 Cl-6 plus H plus 3 Cl2 plus 3 H2 Operchlorates and perchloric acid are the most stable oxo compounds of chlorine, in keeping with the fact that chlorine compounds are most stable when the chlorine atom is in its lowest or highest possible oxidation states. Perchloric acid and aqueous perchlorates are vigorous and sometimes violent oxidizing agents when heated, in stark contrast to their mostly inactive nature at room temperature due to the high activation energies for these reactions for kinetic reasons. Perchlorates are made by electrolytically oxidizing sodium chlorate, and perchloric acid is made by reacting anhydrous sodium perchlorate or barium perchlorate with concentrated hydrochloric acid, filtering away the chloride precipitated and distilling the filtrate to concentrate it. Anhydrous perchloric acid is a colorless mobile liquid that is sensitive to shock that explodes on contact with most organic compounds, sets hydrogen iodide and thionyl chloride on fire and even oxidizes silver and gold. Although it is a weak ligand, weaker than water, a few compounds involving coordinated ClO-4 are known. Organochlorine compounds like the other carbon-halogen bonds, the CCl bond is a common functional group that forms part of core organic chemistry. Formally, compounds with this functional group may be considered organic derivatives of the chloride anion. Due to the difference of electronegativity between chlorine and carbon the carbon in a CCl bond is electron deficient and thus electrophilic. Chlorination modifies the physical properties of hydrocarbons in several ways. Chlorocarbons are typically denser than water due to the higher atomic weight of chlorine versus hydrogen, and aliphatic organochlorides are alkylating agents because chloride is a leaving group. Alkanes and aryl alkanes may be chlorinated under free radical conditions, with UV light. However, the extent of chlorination is difficult to control, the reaction is not regioselective and often results in a mixture of various isomers with different degrees of chlorination, though this may be permissible if the products are easily separated. Aryl chlorides may be prepared by the friedel crafts halogenation, using chlorine and a Lewis acid catalyst. The haliform reaction, using chlorine and sodium hydroxide, is also able to generate alkyl halides from methyl ketones, and related compounds. Chlorine adds to the multiple bonds on alkenes and alkynes as well, giving D or tetrachloro compounds. However, due to the expense and reactivity of chlorine, organochlorine compounds are more commonly produced by using hydrogen chloride, or with chlorinating agents such as phosphorus pentachloride, phosphorus pentachloride or thionyl chloride SOCl2. The last is very convenient in the laboratory because all side products are gaseous and do not have to be distilled out. Many organochlorine compounds have been isolated from natural sources ranging from bacteria to humans. Chlorinated organic compounds are found in nearly every class of biomolecules, including alkaloids, terpenes, amino acids, flavonoids, steroids, and fatty acids. 
Organochlorides, including dioxins, are produced in the high temperature environment of forest fires, and dioxins have been found in the preserved ashes of lightning ignited fires that predate synthetic dioxins. In addition, a variety of simple chlorinated hydrocarbons including dichloromethane, chloroform, and carbon tetrachloride have been isolated from marine algae. A majority of the chloromethane in the environment is produced naturally by biological decomposition, forest fires, and volcanoes. Some types of organochlorides, though not all, have significant toxicity to plants or animals, including humans. Dioxins, produced when organic matter is burned in the presence of chlorine, and some insecticides, such as DDT, are persistent organic pollutants which pose dangers when they are released into the environment. For example, DDT, which was widely used to control insects in the mid-20th century, also accumulates in food chains, and causes reproductive problems e eggshell thinning, in certain bird species. Due to the ready homolytic fission of the CCL bond to create chlorine radicals in the upper atmosphere, chlorofluorocarbons have been phased out due to the harm they do to the ozone layer. Occurrence and production Chlorine is too reactive to occur as the free element in nature but is very abundant in the form of its chloride salts. It is the 20th most abundant element in Earth's crust and makes up 126 parts per million of it, through the large deposits of chloride minerals, especially sodium chloride, that have been evaporated from water bodies. All of these pale in comparison to the reserves of chloride ions in seawater. Smaller amounts at higher concentrations occur in some inland seas and underground brine wells, such as the Great Salt Lake in Utah and the Dead Sea in Israel. Small batches of chlorine gas are prepared in the laboratory by combining hydrochloric acid and manganese dioxide, but the need rarely arises due to its ready availability. In industry, elemental chlorine is usually produced by the electrolysis of sodium chloride dissolved in water. This method, the chlorocholi process industrialized in 1892, now provides most industrial chlorine gas. Along with chlorine, the method yields hydrogen gas and sodium hydroxide, which is the most valuable product. The process proceeds according to the following chemical equation. 2 sodium chloride plus 2 H2O Cl2 plus H2 plus 2 Now the electrolysis of chloride solutions all proceed according to the following equations. Cathode, 2H2O plus 2E minus H2 plus 2O minus Anode, 2Cl minus Cl2 plus 2E minus in diaphragm cell electrolysis, an asbestos or polymer fiber diaphragm separates a cathode and an anode, preventing the chlorine forming at the anode from remixing with the sodium hydroxide and the hydrogen formed at the cathode. The salt solution brine is continuously fed to the anode compartment and flows through the diaphragm to the cathode compartment, where the caustic alkali is produced and the brine is partially depleted. Diaphragm methods produce dilute and slightly impure alkali, but they are not burdened with the problem of mercury disposal and they are more energy efficient. Membrane cell electrolysis employs permeable membrane as an ion exchanger. Saturated sodium or potassium chloride solution is passed through the anode compartment, leaving at a lower concentration. This method also produces very pure sodium or potassium hydroxide but has the disadvantage of requiring very pure brine at high concentrations. In the Deacon process, hydrogen chloride recovered from the production of organochlorine compounds is recovered as chlorine. The process relies on oxidation using oxygen. 4HCl plus O2 2Cl2 plus 2H2 auth reaction requires a catalyst. As introduced by Deacon, early catalysts were based on copper. Commercial processes, such as the Mitsui Mount chlorine process, have switched to chromium and ruthenium based catalysts. The chlorine produced is available in cylinders from sizes ranging from 450 grams to 70 kilograms, as well as drums 865 kilograms, tank wagons 15 tons on roads, 27 to 90 tons by rail, and barges 600 to 1,200 tons. Applications Sodium chloride is by a huge margin the most common chlorine compound, and it is the main source of chlorine and hydrochloric acid for the enormous chlorine chemicals industry today. 
About 15,000 chlorine containing compounds are commercially traded, including such diverse compounds as chlorinated methanes and ethanes, vinyl chloride and its polymer polyvinyl chloride, PVC, aluminium trichloride for catalysis, the chlorides of magnesium, titanium, zirconium, and hafnium, which are the precursors for producing the pure elements, and so on. Quantitatively, of all elemental chlorine produced, about 63% is used in the manufacture of organic compounds, and 18% in the manufacture of inorganic chlorine compounds. About 15,000 chlorine compounds are used commercially. The remaining 19% of chlorine produced is used for bleaches and disinfection products. The most significant of organic compounds in terms of production volume are 1,2-dichloroethane and vinyl chloride, intermediates in the production of PVC. Other particularly important organochlorines are methyl chloride, methylene chloride, chloroform, vinylidene chloride, trichloroethylene, perchloroethylene, allyl chloride, epichlorohydrin, chlorobenzene, dichlorobenzenes, and trichlorobenzenes. The major inorganic compounds include HCl, D-chlorine monoxide, HOCl, sodium hypochlorite, chlorinated isocyanurates, aluminium chloride, silicon chloride, tin-4 chloride, phosphorus trichloride, phosphorus pentachloride, POCl3, ASCl3, antimony-3 chloride, antimony-5 chloride, bismuth-3 chloride, D-sulfur D-chloride, sulfur D-chloride, SOCI2, chlorine trifluoride, ICL, iodine trichloride, titanium 3 chloride, titanium 4 chloride, MOCl5, iron 3 chloride, zinc chloride, and so on. Sanitation, disinfection, and antisepsis. Combating putrefaction. In France, as elsewhere, animal intestines were processed to make musical instrument strings, goldbeater's skin, and other products. This was done in gut factories. Boyauteries, and it was an odiferous and unhealthy process. In or about 1820, the Société d. Encouragement pour l. Industrie nationale offered a prize for the discovery of a method, chemical or mechanical, for separating the peritoneal membrane of animal intestines without putrefaction. The prize was won by Antoine Germain Le Barac, a 44 year old French chemist and pharmacist who had discovered that Bertholet. S. chlorinated bleaching solutions eau de javel not only destroyed the smell of putrefaction of animal tissue decomposition, but also actually retarded the decomposition. Leberoc's research resulted in the use of chlorides and hypochlorites of lime calcium hypochlorite and of sodium, sodium hypochlorite in the boyauteries. The same chemicals were found to be useful in the routine disinfection and deodorization of latrines, sewers, markets, abattoirs, anatomical theaters, and morgues. They were successful in hospitals, lazarets, prisons, infirmaries both on land and at sea, magnanaries, stables, cattle sheds, etc., and they were beneficial during exhumations, embalming, outbreaks of epidemic disease, fever, and blackleg in cattle. Disinfection Liberoc's chlorinated lime and soda solutions have been advocated since 1828 to prevent infection called contagious infection, presumed to be transmitted by miasmas, and to treat putrefaction of existing wounds, including septic wounds. In his 1828 work, Liberoc recommended that doctors breathe chlorine, wash their hands in chlorinated lime, and even sprinkle chlorinated lime about the patient's beds in cases of contagious infection." In 1828, the contagion of infections was well known, even though the agency of the microbe was not discovered until more than half a century later. During the Paris cholera outbreak of 1832, large quantities of so-called chloride of lime were used to disinfect the capital. This was not simply modern calcium chloride, but chlorine gas dissolved in lime water dilute calcium hydroxide to form calcium hypochlorite chlorinated lime. Liberic's discovery helped to remove the terrible stench of decay from hospitals and dissecting rooms, and by doing so, effectively deodorized the Latin Quarter of Paris. These putrid miasmas were thought by many to cause the spread of contagion and infection, both words used before the germ theory of infection. Chloride of lime was used for destroying odors and putrid matter. 
One source claims chloride of lime was used by Dr. John Snow to disinfect water from the cholera contaminated well that was feeding the Broad Street Pump in 1854 London, though three other reputable sources that describe that famous cholera epidemic do not mention the incident. One reference makes it clear that chloride of lime was used to disinfect the offal and filth in the streets surrounding the Broad Street Pump. A common practice in mid 19th century England. Semmelweis and experiments with antisepsis. Perhaps the most famous application of Liberoc's chlorine and chemical base solutions was in 1847, when Ignaz Semmelweis used chlorine water, chlorine dissolved in pure water, which was cheaper than chlorinated lime solutions, to disinfect the hands of Austrian doctors, which Semmelweis noticed still carried the stench of decomposition from the dissection rooms to the patient examination rooms. Long before the germ theory of disease, Semmelweis theorized that cadaveric particles were transmitting decay from fresh medical cadavers to living patients, and he used the well-known Liberoc's solutions as the only known method to remove the smell of decay and tissue decomposition which he found that soap did not. The solutions proved to be far more effective antiseptics than soap. Semmelweis was also aware of their greater efficacy, but not the reason, and this resulted in Semmelweis's celebrated success in stopping the transmission of childbed fever, puerperal fever, in the maternity wards of Vienna General Hospital in Austria in 1847. Much later, during World War I in 1916, a standardized and diluted modification of Liberoc. S solution containing hypochlorite (0.5%) and boric acid as an acidic stabilizer was developed by Henry Drysdale Dakin, who gave full credit to Liberoc's prior work in this area. Called Dakin's solution, the method of wound irrigation with chlorinated solutions allowed antiseptic treatment of a wide variety of open wounds long before the modern antibiotic era. A modified version of this solution continues to be employed in wound irrigation in modern times, where it remains effective against bacteria that are resistant to multiple antibiotics see Century Pharmaceuticals. Public sanitation By 1918, the U.S. Department of Treasury called for all drinking water to be disinfected with chlorine. Chlorine is presently an important chemical for water purification such as in water treatment plants, in disinfectants, and in bleach. As a disinfectant in water, chlorine is more than three times as effective against Escherichia coli as bromine, and more than six times as effective as iodine. Chlorine is usually used in the form of hypochlorous acid to kill bacteria and other microbes in drinking water supplies and public swimming pools. In most private swimming pools, chlorine itself is not used, but rather sodium hypochlorite, formed from chlorine and sodium hydroxide, or solid tablets of chlorinated isocyanurates. The drawback of using chlorine in swimming pools is that the chlorine reacts with the proteins in human hair and skin. The distinctive chlorine aroma associated with swimming pools is not the result of chlorine itself, but of chloramine, a chemical compound produced by the reaction of free dissolved chlorine with amines in organic substances. Even small water supplies are now routinely chlorinated, it is often impractical to store and use poisonous chlorine gas for water treatment, so alternative methods of adding chlorine are used. These include hypochlorite solutions, which gradually release chlorine into the water, and compounds like sodium dichloro s triazinetrione dihydrate or anhydrous, sometimes referred to as dichlor, and trichloro s triazinetrione, sometimes referred to as trichlor. These compounds are stable while solid and may be used in powdered, granular, or tablet form. When added in small amounts to pool water or industrial water systems, the chlorine atoms hydrolyze from the rest of the molecule forming hypochlorous acid HOCl, which acts as a general biocide, killing germs, microorganisms, algae, and so on. Use as a weapon World War I Chlorine gas, also known as bertholite, was first used as a weapon in World War I by Germany on April 22, 1915 in the Second Battle of Ypres. As described by the soldiers, it had the distinctive smell of a mixture of pepper and pineapple. It also tasted metallic and stung the back of the throat and chest. 
Chlorine reacts with water in the mucosa of the lungs to form hydrochloric acid, destructive to living tissue and potentially lethal. Human respiratory systems can be protected from chlorine gas by gas masks with activated charcoal or other filters, which makes chlorine gas much less lethal than other chemical weapons. It was pioneered by a German scientist later to be a Nobel laureate, Fritz Haber of the Kaiser Wilhelm Institute in Berlin, in collaboration with the German chemical conglomerate IG Farben, which developed methods for discharging chlorine gas against an entrenched enemy. After its first use, both sides in the conflict used chlorine as a chemical weapon, but it was soon replaced by the more deadly phosgene and mustard gas. Iraq Chlorine gas was also used during the Iraq War in Anbar Province in 2007, with insurgents packing truck bombs with mortar shells and chlorine tanks. The attacks killed two people from the explosives and sickened more than 350. Most of the deaths were caused by the force of the explosions rather than the effects of chlorine since the toxic gas is readily dispersed and diluted in the atmosphere by the blast. In some bombings, over a hundred civilians were hospitalized due to breathing difficulties. The Iraqi authorities tightened security for elemental chlorine, which is essential for providing safe drinking water to the population. On the 24th of October 2014, it was reported that the Islamic State of Iraq and the Levant had used chlorine gas in the town of Dulawaya, Iraq. Laboratory analysis of clothing and soil samples confirmed the use of chlorine gas against Kurdish Peshmerga forces in a vehicle-borne improvised explosive device attack on 23 January 2015 at the Highway 47 Kiska Junction near Mosul. Syria The Syrian government allegedly uses chlorine as a chemical weapon, often dropping it in barrel bombs, but sometimes also in rockets. Biological role The chloride anion is an essential nutrient for metabolism. Chlorine is needed for the production of hydrochloric acid in the stomach and in cellular pump functions. The main dietary source is table salt, or sodium chloride. Overly low or high concentrations of chloride in the blood are examples of electrolyte disturbances. Hypochloremia having too little chloride rarely occurs in the absence of other abnormalities. It's sometimes associated with hypoventilation. It can be associated with chronic respiratory acidosis. Hyperchloremia having too much chloride usually does not produce symptoms. When symptoms do occur, they tend to resemble those of hypernatremia having too much sodium. Reduction in blood chloride leads to cerebral dehydration. Symptoms are most often caused by rapid rehydration which results in cerebral edema. Hyperchloremia can affect oxygen transport. Hazards Chlorine is a toxic gas that attacks the respiratory system, eyes, and skin. Because it is denser than air, it tends to accumulate at the bottom of poorly ventilated spaces. Chlorine gas is a strong oxidizer, which may react with flammable materials. Chlorine is detectable with measuring devices in concentrations as low as 0.2 parts per million ppm, and by smell at 3 ppm. Coughing and vomiting may occur at 30 ppm and lung damage at 60 ppm. About 1000 ppm can be fatal after a few deep breaths of the gas. The IDLH immediately dangerous to life and health concentration is 10 ppm. Breathing lower concentrations can aggravate the respiratory system and exposure to the gas can irritate the eyes. The toxicity of chlorine comes from its oxidizing power. When chlorine is inhaled at concentrations greater than 30 ppm, it reacts with water and cellular fluid, producing hydrochloric acid HCl and hypochlorous acid HClO. When used at specified levels for water disinfection, the reaction of chlorine with water is not a major concern for human health. Other materials present in the water may generate disinfection by products that are associated with negative effects on human health. In the United States, the Occupational Safety and Health Administration OSHA, has set the permissible exposure limit for elemental chlorine at 1 ppm, or 3 mg per cubic meter. The National Institute for Occupational Safety and Health has designated a recommended exposure limit of 0.5 ppm over 15 minutes. In the home, accidents occur when hypochlorite bleach solutions come into contact with certain acidic drain cleaners to produce chlorine gas. 
Hypochlorite bleach, a popular laundry additive combined with ammonia, another popular laundry additive produces chloramines, another toxic group of chemicals. Chlorine-induced cracking in structural materials. Chlorine is widely used for purifying water, especially potable water supplies and water used in swimming pools. Several catastrophic collapses of swimming pool ceilings have occurred from chlorine-induced stress corrosion cracking of stainless steel suspension rods. Some polymers are also sensitive to attack, including acetal resin and polybutene. Both materials were used in hot and cold water domestic plumbing, and stress corrosion cracking caused widespread failures in the U.S. in the 1980s and 1990s. The picture on the right shows a fractured acetal joint in a water supply system. The cracks started at injection molding defects in the joint and slowly grew until the part failed. The fracture surface shows iron and calcium salts that were deposited in the leaking joint from the water supply before failure. Chlorine iron fire The element iron can combine with chlorine at high temperatures in a strong exothermic reaction, creating a chlorine iron fire. Chlorine iron fires are a risk in chemical process plants, where much of the pipework that carries chlorine gas is made of steel. See also Industrial gas Polymer degradation Reductive dechlorination References Notes Bibliography Greenwood, Norman N., Earnshaw, Allen Chemistry of the Elements 2nd ed. Butterworth Heinemann. ISBN 0-08-037941-9. External links Chlorine at the Periodic Table of Videos University of Nottingham Agency for Toxic Substances and Disease Registry, Chlorine Electrolytic Production Production and Liquefaction of Chlorine Chlorine Production Using Mercury, Environmental Considerations and Alternatives National Pollutant Inventory, Chlorine National Institute for Occupational Safety and Health, Chlorine Page Chlorine Institute – Trade Association representing the chlorine industry Chlorine Online – The web portal of Euroclor, the business association of the European chlor alkali industry. Chlorine Encyclopædia Britannica. 6 11th ed. 1911. pp. 254–56.